Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ruby from Scratch. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Ruby for development on a Mac. So I'm using Yosemite and everything, I've tried it out once on uh, my colleague's computer and everything works just fine. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to set it up using Yosemite. It should be the same process for Mavericks, so nothing to worry about there. All right, without any further delay, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is install Homebrew. Now, before you do that, uh, we need to make sure that you have uh, Xcode installed. So you can get it from the Mac App Store, uh, or if you're using the Yosemite, uh, you can get the beta version from the uh, from the developer area, uh, or you can just install this one and it should work just fine as well. But I prefer you to have the latest and the greatest if you're on Yosemite anyway. Um, but if you're on Mavericks, Xcode, the one from the Mac App Store will work just fine. Um, and make sure that you name Xcode as Xcode when you download, if you download the beta, it might be named something else. So make sure that it's called Xcode in the applications folder because Homebrew looks for that. Um, so once you've done that, you can just go ahead and copy this command over here that says install Homebrew. Go to the terminal and paste it in and hit uh, enter and it should just start installing. I've already installed it, uh, so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is install RBENV. So brew install RBENV, just like that. So it's gonna go ahead and uh, download RBENV and install it. So I'm gonna pause the video right here and we'll be back when it's done. All right, so once RBENV is installed, we need to export our uh, environment variables for RBENV. So I'm just gonna copy this line over here. I'm gonna go into VI and then bash profile just like that. And I'm gonna paste this line in there just like that. And I'm gonna copy another line. So this one here, which will initialize RBNV for our environment. And again, uh, just you know, paste it in just like that. So now once that's done, I'm gonna run uh, bash profile. So now if I type RBNV, it should work, and there it is. All right, so RBENV itself does not know how to install Ruby, right? To install Ruby, we need to use this plugin, which is a plugin of RBENV, which is called Ruby Build. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this command over here, uh, git clone, and I'm gonna clone this into the plugins directory. Now we're not gonna use a home directory over here. This is referring to the home directory. We're gonna use the one that is comes with a homebrew. So I'm gonna head back to the terminal, I'm gonna show you how. All right, so if we go back to the root over here, and uh, what I need to do is I need to cd into usr, local, uh, var, rbenv, and what I need to do is uh, over here, I need to create a new folder called plugins. Now if you've already done that, then great, but if you haven't, um, then just go ahead and create mkdir plugins. I've already done that here. Um, so, you know, I already have that directory. cd into plugins. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone, uh, we're gonna copy that command again, and then we're gonna clone Ruby build into here. So that's gonna take a bit of time, uh, let it clone. And once that's done, we'll be ready to install Ruby. All right, so once uh, our Ruby build has been cloned, uh, once we type RBENV again, we should see a few new things. There's now an install command. So I'm gonna type RBENV install and then list and we get a list of all the possible installations that we can install on our system we're going to install the latest one 2.1.2 so i'm going to go ahead and do rbenv install 2.1.2 and uh, that is basically it i mean that's how you install ruby now once we install ruby we're going to need to do a few things to you know let it initialize a ruby version that we want and then after that, we'll be good to go. So I'll let it install and I'll come back to you guys. All right, so Ruby is now installed on my system. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you that you know, nothing has changed. It's still using the system default Ruby. So what we need to do now is we need to do RBENV uh, global 2.1.2. So it's just gonna say, tell uh, RBENV to use 2.1.2 as a latest version uh, globally and uh, yeah. That's it. And now if I type Ruby hyphen V, we should get 2.1.2. 2. 
and there we go. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test out if we can install our gem. So gem install bundler, that's the first gem I normally install when I set up a new Ruby system. So it should work just fine. Uh, it shouldn't be any issues on the Mac, it's pretty simple. All right, so there it is, uh, Ruby install, gems can now be installed, everything is working great. Um, so this is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.